My fellow Dream Chasers, Kenzie Retro here. It is reaction day. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Uh, but I'm reacting to uh, a video that one of my good friends, uh, Michael McGorry, who you may remember uh, from uh, such amazing videos as Kingdom of Isolation Bambi Review and Kingdom of Isolation Dumbo Review. <laughs> That's my best Troy McClure there. But anyway, uh, reaction day, like I say, it's been a while since I've done one of these. Um, and uh, hope you guys like the intro. Uh, so yeah, uh... So, uh, I'm recording this on July 20th, uh, in time for it going out on July 22nd. Why? Because Michael Magori has officially declared July 20th Stuart Little Day. So, he did a tier list of all the Stuart Little characters from the two films. No, wait, 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 hold, hold, hold up, hold up! Before you type in the comments, isn't there a third one? That's direct to video, so that one doesn't count. Anyway. Let's not waste any more time. Let's do this. Oh, and uh, just for the record, the uh, the just for the record, uh, there is going to be some strong language in uh, Michael's video. So, just as a quick heads up. Well, Title hi, card. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Michael McGorry, and welcome to Movies and Milk, the one million YouTube channel to discuss. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> doesn't know poop from applesauce. I mean, I mean that that was a that was a little thing that he had for um, the thirty day movie challenge, um, which was actually um, which actually quite funny <laughs> that that he actually managed to get that done over the course of the thirty days. I was actually part of that thirty day movie challenge where we discussed our favorite movie endings, and uh, some of those uh, movie challenges. I'm actually going to be putting into top 10s over the course of uh, the foreseeable future. But nevertheless, let's continue. <laughs> movies, but rarely ever milk. You see, we drink milk in our videos there. It's, it's, it's our little gimmick. Now, you're probably wondering why I've got all this stuff in my face and why I've dyed my hair white. Well, it is simple. It's because today is July 20th, 2020. A date that probably holds very little significance to most people out there, but for me, is actually one of the most exciting days of the year. Today is the self-proclaimed Stuart Little Day, the time of hey! year in which we thank the Lord for the Stuart Little film franchise. Now why July 20th, I hear you ask? Well, it's fairly simple. You see, the first Stuart Little film was first projected onto UK screens back in July 21st, 2000. And I actually wanted to go and see this instead of Chicken Run. Because uh, uh, cause your little one was on the same day as when I went to see Chicken Run at the cinemas. You see, I, I do remember Chicken Run being... Uh, was it, from what I can remember, Chicken, Chicken Run was the, the first film I went to see at the cinema. But uh, yeah, nevertheless... Um, we got still a little on video there later that year, and uh, it was it, it was worth the wait. Which is nearly twenty years ago. When a little while from now, <laughs> and then just less than Using two years in the after soundtrack. that, That's UK clever. audiences were graced with its sequel in July nineteenth, two thousand and two. And so I figured, July nineteenth, July twenty first. Mm -hmm. Fuck it, let's make Stuart Little Day on July twentieth. What's that, Stuart? <laughs> right smack bang in the middle. Wait, hang on. He had to. Oh, wait, hang on. He was going to say something. Fuck it. Let's make Stuart Little Day on July twentieth. What's that? Stuart Little Three: Call of the Wild. What are you talking about? I've, I've never heard of that film. So I thought. <laughs> it, it, it's good that he does acknowledge it, but yeah, it was uh, direct to video. So uh, yeah, for this tier list, it doesn't count. But to celebrate Stuart Little Day this year, I would do what most YouTubers do when they run out of ideas and do a tier list. A tier list in which I rank all of the characters that appear within the two movies. And so without further ado, let's get ranking. Here we go! I am Ah, God bless Alex. Now I've got over 20 school. characters here, so we're, yep, we're, no we're pressure. gonna have to breeze no through pressure. some of these. Essentially just went with the characters that either had major plot significance or had more than two lines. 
There's a good chance that I have missed someone, but um, I'd, I'd, like, I'd like to think that I've got mostly everybody here. Now, who do we start off with? I know, let's start off with everyone's favourite character, the cab driver from Stuart Little 2. Okie dokie, no problem! It's commonly theorised amongst Stuart Little fanatics out there that no one ever uttered the phrase, okie dokie, no problem, until this character came about. However, nowadays, I'd like to think that everyone has said that phrase at least once in their life. Yep. And so with that, straight to C tier with you, my friend. C for cab driver. Get it? It's fair to say uh, lockdown has got to me. Now, who do we go for next? Um, <laughs> wait, hang on, hang on a second. Lockdown's got to us? Yeah, you and me both, my friend. Let's look at some of the antagonists of the franchise. Ooh, goody Let's gum start drops. off with the big mean falcon from Stuart Little 2. God bless James, James Woods. Woods. Now I really like this character, he is very intimidating and like I said, James Woods' performance is... is it's just classic James Woods. Exactly! He's over, fur face. Exhibit He's just hey. constantly dry and sarcastic and yeah. belittling everyone that's around him. However, because of the fact that this character is voiced by James Woods, every time I see Falcon, I'm just like, that's Hades from Disney's Hercules. Thank you! <laughs> and for that, unfortunately, he does not make it to S tier, but he will sit comfortably in the A tier. I, I, and then I we've got Smokey the Cat from the first film. Not as charming or as memorable as Falcon. Oh my! That screenshot alone? That's terrifying! That's terrifying for seven-year-old me! But he does pose an intimidating threat. Not bad for a house cat. Exhibit A. <laughs> Not bad for a dead house cat. Every time Smokey is on screen, I am fearing for little Stuart's life. And so I'm going to put Smokey in the B tier. B for... Bad Cat. <laughs> and while we're on the subject of Smokey the Cat, let's... Let's just rank all the cats. We've got Smokey's henchmen who are just... Constantly spewing jokes. They uh. never shut up. Oh, you know you've got bad henchmen when all funny, they do is joke, th joke, 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 why joke. They're not all that memorable. I don't even know the name of the cat that I've, I've got down here in the tier list. Do I put them in F? I think I'm going to put these felines down in F. Whenever they're spewing jokes, they're doing it at the most inappropriate times. Yeah, exactly! The most intense scenes of the movie. And then we've got Monty, voiced by Steve Zahn. I love this character. Ah, I love yes. the actor that That's been shot with some strippers. But some of his when jokes uh, do fall flat. When he, when he gets There's a moment out in the, the first film in which he uses the cat got your tongue pun. Oh, good grief. I'll see myself <sighs> out. Good night, everybody. Me for that pun alone. And do we have yep. any more cats on the roster? Oh, yes. Snowbell. Hey! <laughs> One. Yes, Hussa! that's right, baby. Snowbell is an S tier. You, you better believe it. He's got the best lines, he's got the best character arc in the first film, and he is voiced by the lovable Nathan Lane. Who you may remember from such films as Mouse Hunt and The Lion King. And Lion King 2. And Lion King 1 and a half. Or Lion King 3 over here in the UK. Get on with it! Next! Every time Snowbell is on screen, I smile. <laughs> now I think we need to yeah. get rid of some of the dead whales. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, to yeah talking of which, uh, yeah, one of my favourite scenes, I actually sent it to him on Snapchat earlier today. Why would I turn it off? It's my favourite show. It's so deadpan, it's brilliant! Okay, let's, let's get rid of some of these minor characters. We've got George's school teacher from Stuart Little 2. Um, D tier? We've got the soccer referee yeah. from the same film. Again, leaves very little impact. Straight into D tier. I initially thought... Wait, wait, hang on. Referee, did he say? Referee or coach? Film. A D tier? We've got the soccer referee from the same oh, film. Oh, referee. I thought Again, he said coach. Leaves very little impact. Straight into D tier. And actually, credit to him for actually calling football soccer 
because it is set in New York after all, and Americans call football soccer. We've got Orwin, the boy who gets his ribs punctured in Stuart Little 2. Oh! Again, oh, oh, that's, D-tier. That's, if you were hit in the face, then maybe you would go a bit higher. That's gonna We've hurt. got the soccer coach. Uh, yeah, I initially thought that was um, Happy, the, the guy that plays uh, Stephen Tobolos, uh, Tobolowski, or however you pronounce his surname. I initially thought it was Stephen Tobolowski. If I pronounced that wrong, I apologize. I initially thought that was him. I w- because cause, cause I was like, because as soon as he mentioned the soccer coach, I'm sitting there like, wait, hang on, is that is that the guy? And I'm sitting there like, and I ch- checked his filmography, and he's like, no, 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 no. But he wasn't. But he was in the uh, the first Garfield live action film, and he was uh, Sandy in uh, Glee. Nice little factoid for the Gleeks out there. Anyway. Um, C tier? I like him over all the characters that are in D tier. Then we've got Wallace, who is a kid who does get hit with a ball in the face. Boom! And quite frankly, this little rat deserves it. So we'll see you in C tier. We've then got Rob the Plumber, played by Brad Garrett, an actor who... I love, but he's he's just not in the film that much. Very he's underutilized. He's only there for that so one scene. Where you're going to check. straight into D tier, Rob. Yep. Now let's go into some of the minor characters from the first film. We've got the Doctor. He he makes me giggle, so I'm I'm going to put him in C. Ah, oh, yeah, the Doctor. Owner, who Very clean. Makes me smile whenever he's on screen. So oh, again, straight Barbados into Ben, tier. Chef Ben, just Lumberjack Ben, and Gladiator Ben from the first film. Many um, of Ben depends on the occasion. Give me a second. Wait, hang on, what? I have just noticed that I am missing the detective from the first film. Um, give me a second. <laughs> 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 and now we've got Officer Sherman from the first film. There we go. Is a minor character who elevates the ranks. I actually really like his character and wish that he was in the film a little bit more. Am I going to do it? Am I going to do it? Yes, I am. I'm putting him in B tier. And then we've got Uncle Craig he, he Shaw, is played by in, former in the, is inmate in the Jeffrey the Jones, who oh, oh, is my, oh, my. I wish I had. Bear in mind, I'm talking about the character, not the actor that portrays him. There I'm plumping him in B tier. And then whilst I'm at it, I'm also going to... Wait a second. Portrays... Bear in mind, I'm talking about the character. Wait, 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 wait. That I wish by former inmate Jeffrey Jones. Wait a... Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Jeffrey... I have seen... I have seen that face before. Well, I'll be damned. He was in Bloomin' Ferris Bueller's that, That's... That's the headmaster from Ferris Bueller's Day Off! How did I not pick up on this? Who uh, is an uncle that I wish I had. Bear in mind, I'm talking about the character, not the actor that portrays him. I'm plumping him in B tier. Yeah, less yeah, the less said about the behind the scenes stuff, the better. And then whilst I'm at it, I'm also going to throw the rest of George's aunties and uncles and grandparents in B tier. I do kind of wish that yep. these characters maybe came back for the second film because in the first film. They're pretty funny, they're, they're nice, they're likeable. And now we get on to... Anton. I hated him! And still do to this day. Anton is a mega He is so preppy and so up himself, he is so unlikable. And quite frankly, his comeuppance isn't all that satisfying? So what? His boat was destroyed. Grow a pair and stop being such a baby! Punch that little prick in the face. 
In fact, Don't I'm going to promote me. Smokey's gang up to D tier and just plonk him in F. I hate him. F. You and me oh. both, my friend. Fuck you, Anton. Jesus Christ. And while we're on the concept of unlikable children, we also have Martha Little from Stuart Little 2. I mean, she's harmless enough, but you could take her character out of the film and I'm sorry, I know that the actresses are only, what, two years old? But every time you see Martha in the second film, she just looks like she doesn't want to be there. I'm putting Not really her in D. Pivotal in the and role, now but... let's talk about a likeable child, Will from Stuart Little 2. Oh, I yes. really like Will. He's, he's, he's a great guy. I mean, George could easily just go to his house and play the PlayStation 2 that Will owns. Nope. But no, instead, Will brings his bulky ass PlayStation 2 over to the Little's house. And that, my friends, is a proper lad. Straight into A tier with you, my friend. Why not S tier? Why not put Will in S tier? And whilst we're at it, let's rank his mother, Rita. She's not in the second film all that much, and... Yeah, she's... She's there. Put her in D, I guess. Mm. And now we revert back to the first film with Mrs. Keeper. She's got a lot of funny lines in the first film. But is she better than Monty? No. So I'm putting you in B tier. Now let's discuss Reginald and Camille Stout, also known as Stuart's fake parents. Camille would initially go straight into the D tier, she doesn't really do much in the film, but she is voiced by Jennifer Tilly. This I did not know until earlier today. And for that fact alone, I'm putting Camille in C tier. As for her lover Reginald, yeah, I'm, I'm going to put him in C tier as well. I kind of wish that this couple was either a bit more funny or a bit more threatening. But a couple that is not forgettable is Stuart's adopted mother and father. Eleanor and Frederick, played by Gina Davis and Hugh Laurie respectively, they are relationship goals. However... Mm, yeah, relationship goals, I mean, I mean, you can understand where he's coming from, I mean... They're maybe a bit too lovey-dovey. There are a couple of moments there in is both a, of the films yeah. that are kind of cringe-worthy. Did you have any crushes? I'm still having one. So that would initially put them in the B tier. But again, I love the actor and actress that are portraying them so much that they're going straight into A. Now we get down to the final three. I don't really know how to feel about George. George from the first film would go into C tier, and then George from Stuart Little 2 would sit in A tier. I think it's maybe because- So yeah, based on that logic, he would go into B tier. Because the actor Jonathan Lipnicki, who- Jesus Christ, what- What on earth happened to this kid? That's not the kid I know from Stuart Little and the Little Vampire? Even though I've not seen a little vampire, but I will get onto that eventually. Wait, okay, okay, pitch folks down, pitch folks down, people. Thank you. Anyway, as I was saying, what on earth happened to this kid? Where did those abs come from? What happened to him? His yeah, exactly. acting got considerably better in my opinion in the sequel. But because Jonathan Lipnicki could easily kick my ass, To hell with it, I'm putting him in S tier. Come are on! you happy, Jonathan? Are, are, are you happy? Please don't hurt me. <laughs> now we come to Margo, who is just adorable. Yeah. But she's a bit of a bitch. As soon as Stuart saves her from the clutches of the Falcon, she yeah. just instantly leaves, which I guess is all well and good, but Jesus Christ, you've, you've broken Stuart's little heart. Exactly! And as such, I'm, I'm putting you in B tier. B... B, B for bird. <laughs> and I was half expecting him to say something else. Wait a minute, did I just see something come up on screen? B tier. B, B... B for bird. The chuckle of an insane man who is slowly losing the plot. <laughs> I didn't even clock onto that. 
And now we've come to it. The the main man, the head the, honcho the of the franchise. The man of the hour. If it literally wasn't for this character's existence, we wouldn't be here today. And for that reason alone, I'm putting Stuart in A tier. What blasphemy! I know, I know. You're, you're probably thinking that he's going to be an S, but... Listen, S for Stuart, Stuart's it. just a bit too much of a goody two-shoes to yeah. belong in the S tier. I love Michael J. Fox's voice. Yep. In typical Michael Who J. Doesn't? Fox fashion, he's just oozing with charisma. Yep. And I do really like the design of Stuart. I mean, it would have been easy for this character to look unpleasant and disturbing. I mean, that's, that screenshot's from Stuart Little too, folks. Look how good it looked 18 years ago and it still holds up today. How is that even possible? Considering his black soulless eyes. Oh my! I have to commend the CGI artists because Stuart's just, he's just so cute to look at. And I do admire the balls on the filmmakers because they try and kill off this character as much as they possibly can. Right, uh, let's see how many, let's see, let's see what we can, let's see what, let's see what we've got. Uh, I'm trying to think here. Uh, the washing machine incident, which was already showcased earlier. Um. Uh, what else? The sailing thing? I think, I think we can class that as that. Um. The He's in the sewer. Uh, almost gets killed in the uh, the finale. So that's four from the first film that I can recall. If I missed any, let me know in the comments. Um, what else was there? Okay, still a little two. Football, soccer. Sorry, sorry, soccer. The dream. Um. Being dropped from the top of the Pishkin building, and the oh, uh, the the plane twice. I should uh, I should say. So yeah, based on that logic, yeah, they tried to kill Stuart Little off more times in the second film than they did in the first film. Way to traumatize your your child. Way to way to traumatize your your fan base. Are you sure that Stuart is happy here? Oh, he's having the time of his life. He's stuck in the washing machine! Are you sure he's but having again, a good time? he is just too much of a goody two-shoes to be yeah. in the S tier. And with that, there's your ranking. I want to say I'm, 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 I'm fairly proud of it. Thank you so very much for watching, ladies and gents. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and tell me in the comments section down below What's your opinion on the Stuart Little franchise? If you didn't like my ranking and would like to rank the characters for yourself, I've left a link to this tier maker template in the description, where you can also find the links to the Movies and Milk Instagram page and the newly established Movies and Milk Facebook page. Yes, just like your out of touch father, we have finally made the leap to Facebook. And until next <laughs> oh, yeah. time, stay safe, don't do anything stupid, and please, for the love of God, celebrate Stuart Little Day responsibly. Just drift away, our worries die. I know that oh, oh, oh. I'm alive, yeah, yeah. I get wings to fly, God knows that I'm alive. Oh, oh my! But yeah, uh, overall I can't really... I can't really fault uh, the ranking. Can't really fault that tier list. But yeah, uh, feels good to be reacted to stuff again. <laughs> uh, if you guys want me, if you guys want to send stuff, um, excuse me. If you guys want want me to react to stuff in uh, in future, uh, you can uh, you can hit me up on my Instagram, Kenzie Rachel YouTube. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Um, and if you enjoyed what you saw, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be a Dream Chaser like myself, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. Click the bell to join the Dream Chaser's notification squad so you don't miss anything I do on this channel. I've actually got two Music Monday videos now. Um, 
I, I, I was initially going to do just the one, which I did. Uh, and that was uh, my cover of uh, My Immortal from Evanescence. Uh, yeah, but I'm also going to be... I also got um, I'm Alive from uh, Stuart Little 2. So, yeah, a little bonus music Monday for you. So, I've got... So, uh, let's just uh, adjust accordingly. So, yeah, I've got them. I've got my music Mondays down here. Uh, my reactions playlist uh top right and of course bottom right you can see the chat you can uh check out my channel got so yeah um with all that in mind folks be awesome be a legend and above all else be yourself and i'll see you guys again soon